What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman and it seems as though Dwayne The Rock Johnson may make it into the MCU after all as a brand new report has linked him to the Inhumans reboot with a role that might not see him with too many lines. We're going to break down where this report's coming from, why it's a little odd considering the other actor that's already being eyed for Marvel Studios, and what this would mean with the complications for him in DC and the MCU. We're going to break it all down, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros as well as a whole slew of other Marvel related stuff including limited edition Infinity Saga box sets. We have two that we'll be giving away throughout the holiday season. All you have to do to be entered to win hit the subscribe button then hit the notification bell leave a like and a comment on this video and if you want stick around to the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Now it was widely reported in the last two months including here at the channel that Vin Diesel was in fact Marvel Studios first choice for Black Bolt in the Inhumans reboot. It's been largely rumored at this point that we will be seeing at least one or two of the Inhumans humans coming up perhaps with the Miss Marvel TV show and that if they were to cast Black Bolt anytime soon Vin Diesel was number one on their list now for those of you saying well he's already played Groot in the MCU yes but under the guise of full CGI plus as you may know about Black Bolt he's one of the few Marvel characters that would actually say less words than Groot as he won't have any speaking lines at all that's because of his superpower his voice would merely shatter reality making it really no conflict of interest at all for Vin Diesel to represent both characters characters in the same cinematic universe. Now it's being reported that if Vin Diesel somehow turns down that role for any reason that Dwayne The Rock Johnson would be the studio's second pick and at first that sounds pretty unlikely considering how public the feud was between The Rock and Vin Diesel but apparently they have buried the hatchet and if they ever had to do a movie where they crossed over somewhere down the road there's a likely chance that Vin Diesel would just go down to a local sound studio in LA or wherever he's at and do the voiceover for Groot meaning they wouldn't have to coexist on the studio floor at all or anywhere on set. Even still they're both consummate professionals and I'm sure would be able to bury said hatchet when it comes to doing something like a Marvel production. Now the only thing holding Dwayne The Rock Johnson back from becoming Black Bolt, if indeed this is true, would not only be Vin Diesel turning down the role if he truly is the first pick, but also the fact that he's playing Black Adam here very soon. They set to start shooting this movie in mid-2020. And outside of the very immediate and obvious memes of having The Rock play both Black Bolt and Black Adam in the Marvel and DC universes respectively, it's hard to know what Marvel will need in terms of production not only the length of films they'll have to sign a contract for but when these productions will take place and as is the case for a lot of these big name actors where it may seem like a no-brainer for them to take a Marvel role considering the popularity of the Marvel Cinematic Universe the real problem is how many projects that they want to do and the contractual obligations that go along with becoming a major member of a team like the Inhumans now for someone like Dwayne The Rock Johnson who's been doing action the majority of his life it seems like the Marvel Cinematic Universe universe would be the Mount Everest of that and it was interesting to me that he chose to take a role in something like Black Adam instead of Shazam where he could easily have played that and been the typical superhero instead playing an anti-hero or supervillain depending on the story and continuity you want to point to unless he did it on purpose which leads me to my final thought if you wanted to play a role in both Marvel and DC it would be much easier to do so if you had played a villain in one of the universes before you crossed over as a hero into the other. More confusing to me than picking the character of Black Adam was picking the DC Universe in the first place considering all their recent woes and the fact that they're in the middle of what they are denying is almost a full reboot although they will keep some of the original casted characters like obviously Wonder Woman and Aquaman with the recent success of that movie. Why would you choose DC over Marvel unless he was playing the long game and said hey I'll go ahead and dip my feet first in with this character that I know and love before I cross over. I had also made the point in another video where we covered The Rock being in the MCU and some comments the Russo's had made about him being the best version of himself. It was sort of maybe like an underhanded comment aimed at his ego. The fact that he would be playing Black Bolt and not having any speaking lines I think would really help the fact for how typecast he is, what a ubiquitous name, how well we know his face. What I would worry about is conversely with Marvel when they've used almost no-name actors in some of these very high-powered casting ensembles 
roles, those actors can really shine through because their face is fresh and we don't know them yet. Yeah, there are some really big names like Robert Downey Jr. who were able to avoid this, but then they become as synonymous with the character as the character is with the comic book portrayals themselves, meaning a lot of us just see Iron Man when we see Robert Downey Jr. now. And for an actor like The Rock, who has so many other roles, including his stint in the WWE that he's so well known for, my worry would be that somehow that branding would get crosswired, that it would take us out of the experience to see the Inhumans family, but all of a sudden see The Rock in the middle. That's not the Inhumans. That's not Black Bolt. That's The Rock. Do you guys see what I'm saying? Let me know what you think in the comments about all of this. A, the fact that Marvel Studios would even be eyeing him for a role that they think Vin Diesel should play in the first place. That's a little weird given the public history between the two, right? Doesn't seem like something Marvel Studios would outright do. Then again, business is business and Disney is looking to crush it. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is one of the biggest names you could ever bring in, especially in action. Almost so surprisingly so that he hasn't been a part of the MCU yet. Guys, let me know again what you think in the comments comments and quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which now is at the 550,000 subscriber mark. We are headlong into that, should hit that by the end of the year. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video that automatically enters you to win all the rest of the prizes at the channel, including two of the limited edition Infinity Saga box sets. These things are completely sold out. You cannot get them anymore. We have our hands on two here at the channel. We'll be giving them away. All you have to do again to be entered to win, all the same rules apply. Hit the sub button then hit the notification bell with notifications turned on leave a like and a comment on this video and because it's truly random the more videos you like and comment on the better chance you have of winning all winners are announced at the end of videos and if you missed the most recent playstation 4 pro winners at the 500,000 subscriber mark that's in a video from last week called marvel phase 5 dates revealed all you have to do is click that and listen through and i also include 500k 400k and 300k winners in the title it's not that hard to find them my name's michael roman this is everything always, guys. Thanks for checking out the channel. Have a safe holiday season if you're traveling. And no matter where you're at or who you're with, I hope you're having a great time. My name is Michael Roman. This is everything always. Guys, thanks for checking out the channel and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.